say, hey guys, it's Klaus. Welcome today to Klaus's channel, where we're going to watch. Uh, who are we watching here? Grass Chopper. It is A43, Russian Tier 6, medium tank. Now, are Russian tanks the best tanks in the game? Well, I mean, a lot of people think so. They pretty much have the best tank of almost every tier. Uh, I know you're going to dispute that statement, but let's start at Tier 1, MS-1, best tank. Tier 2, Tetrach, best tank. Tier 3... T-127, best tank. Tier 4, huh? Tier 4, T-28, best tank. Tier 5, KV-1, Tier 6, Cromwell? Cromwell, you say? Well, it might be the Cromwell. Yeah, you know, Klaus will give you that. Cromwell, Tier 6, Cromwell. Tier 7, T-29. So American tank makes Tier 7. Tier 8, Scorpion G, but that's a premium tank. That's cheating. Uh, T2E5 Patriot. Oh, oh, that's a premium tank. That's cheating. Excluding premium tanks, tier eight. IS3, hands down. Tier nine. What's the best tier nine? T54, Russian. Tier ten. What's the best tier ten? Well, you may not agree with Klaus on this one, but you know it's got to be the T110E5, right? It used to be the IS-7, hands down, or any Russian medium tank, T-62A, object, whatever, right? any of those. But then they realized, holy shit, the Russian tanks can't be the best of everything. We'll make, we'll buff the T-125 and that one, that one's pretty good now. And just so those Americans don't feel like they've been hard done by, We'll sell them a Patriot or a Scorpion. If they give us 50 bucks, they can have something better than the IS-3. But just in case, we'll make the IS-3A better than all of them. So yeah, other than the Cromwell and the T-29, Russian tanks are the best tanks in the game. And this A-43 gives the Cromwell a run for his money. And look at Grass Chopper playing this thing. Now this thing, is Russian, so of course it has it has armor, it has mobility, it has a pretty bouncy turret, and uh, the only weakness, of course, for a Russian tank is it has an inaccurate, slow aiming gun, right? Well, not this one. This one has a 57 millimeter fast firing little demon gun that can just snap people like that and snap them like that, and then turn around and buzz around and turn and snap them like that and turn again and snap and snap 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 this guy's gonna get snapped to death because this guy's in a in a German tank and he's bouncing and finally 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 you killed him grass chopper that took you freaking long enough Klaus was running out of things to say but yeah since Aquachima Papadanya. Papadanya means just take another shot and it'll all be over soon. <laughs> yeah, the weakness of the Russian tanks is the inaccurate guns. Yeah, like that. Except for this gun that you can get on, on the KV-1. You can get this on lots of Russian medium tanks, light tanks, the MT-25. It just shoots like a machine. You don't need an autoloader when you're playing a Russian tank because... Who needs a freaking auto loader or a magazine when you got a gun that shoots every two seconds anyway? Oni Stola. Oh, there's the tier 7, T29. Did Klaus say that was the best tier 7? Well, maybe it's the IS-2A now. Huh? The IS-2? Not 2A, what, what the hell are we talking about? The IS-2, the, the Russian premium tier 7. Well... You know, the T-29 will shoot that one, but the IS-2A can... The IS-2 can just shoot the T-29 back for 400 HP. It's faster. It has better hull armor. But the T-29 still kick. That turret. That turret, man. But anyway, we're not... Let's forget about... Klaus is digressing or regressing or... Maybe a combination of regressing and digressing. And has lost track of this game. 
So Grass Chopper here is on the hill like a billy goat and is going to use the inaccurate Russian gun to kill that guy 500 meters away. <laughs> so when you see a Russian tank, don't assume that they're not accurate. You don't know which gun they have. And usually Russian tanks have the big gun that does lots of damage that's not that accurate and then the little gun that does a little bit of damage but really fast that is accurate. And all those tier 10 mediums, you play those tier 10 Russian mediums and they basically got a big gun that shoots really fast, that does almost a lot of damage and is also accurate. So this one warms you up for the grind, probably the best grind in the game, playing the Russian mediums. Why the hell would you want to play anything else? when you can play these babies. Okay, look at that. That guy missed, and uh, well, he bounced, but that guy missed. So there, sucks to be him. What is he in? Oh, he is in a Russian tank. One of the ones with the big guns. Uh, strange that there's a Russian tank left on the enemy team. Ooh, the T-29's still alive, and his team is down in the valley. Down in the valley, just waiting. Look at the mobility of this A-43. This thing, you know, this gives the Cromwell a run for its money. Now, the Cromwell is more maneuverable. The Cromwell has probably better gun depression and just overall feels better. But don't count this one out. If, if you play this one right, even without the gun depression, the armor and the fast shooting gun, this gun is actually more accurate. The one thing about the Cromwell Plus, cannot stand that freaking Car Cromwell when you're on the move or, or your turn or any part of the tank is moving. You can't hit freaking side of the barn with that thing. You have to either auto aim on people and get really close and circle them or aim. The aim time stat is all bullshit. You have to aim for like three seconds before the circle finally gets fully aimed on a Cromwell. Whereas this thing, you can poke and snapshot and just, you know, you're, you're on the move, you just point the gun, shoot. Look, he, he didn't pen, but he hit that. There's no freaking way a Cromwell would hit that shot. And when you're top tier and you can just snapshot people like that, you don't have to really aim in a Russian gun or in a Russian tank. Uh, you get two skilled players and it's a toss up whether this guy beats the Cromwell or not, so. Anyways, let's watch this. He's got five kills. His team is just, well, they're at the base. The artillery's at the base. The Nash Horn has stayed alive. And he cannot get too close to that T-150. He's going to try and play the view range game or get on, on the hill where he has a, an angle on this guy and some cover. The PZ on the other... Oh, there's two artillery. T-29 is dead. Close missed that. Someone killed the T-29. That, that's good. Now, where is this T-150? He looks like he was full health. And now it looks like the Lorraine, his artillery, is moving up. And the Lorraine probably spotted the T-150. So good job. His artillery has spotted that guy. And now, or maybe it was him, Klaus, not sure. Now look at this, up the ass for you. The gun shoots every couple of seconds. Like, and you won't miss with this. You might miss with the Cromwell, but you ain't gonna miss with the Russian gun. He's tracked them, keep them tracked. If he can keep them tracked here, he's just not gonna miss. Like, look at this, what's there not to like? Oh, he pulled back. He was scared he was spotted there. Keep them tracked. Come on, keep them. Don't pull back. You've got one more shot. You win the game. And it's over. Someone won it for him. Oh, no, wait. It's not over. There's two artilleries left. But that Russian, the Russian guns, whether they're big and they, they do a lot of damage or whether they're little and they shoot fast. You know, in this game, you can argue till the cows come home. You know, the German accurate guns, the Chinese alpha, the... Whatever the hell you want to argue about, the Russian guns in this game are hands down better than any other tanks. Any tier, there's a Russian tank that has the best gun. TDs, 
Uh, SPGs, heavy tanks, medium tanks, it does not matter. Look at this, just auto-aimed. He's, he's not going to miss because it's Russian. Just, you know, there you go. Gatov. Tier 6, tier 7, 8, 9, 10, it does not matter. Russian is best. And now Grass Chopper has got 6 skills. He is going to move in and try and finish this game off. There is only one guy left. Is that an artillery left? That is an SPG left. SPG, who does not know that P... Come on, you guys know what Klaus is going to say. He does not know that P stands for propelled. And he has not propelled himself anywhere in this game. Not that he could have on this map. It's pretty hard, so... Klaus will not be too hard on you, buddy. Oh, look at that! Yeah, he got he got a kill, so hats off to you, buddy. But now there's a Russian tank coming. And, uh, yeah, sucks to be you. So he's got a few medals here. Cool-headed, high-caliber, and Top Gun aced that game with over 3,000 damage and made himself a little bit of profit. So thanks, everyone, for watching, and uh, let Klaus know in the comments whether you agree which tanks are the best for tier and whether you think this guy, this A43, is better than the Cromwell. Or whether you think the IS-2 is better than the T-29. Or whether you think all the Russian medium tanks are better than the T-125. Everyone's got their opinion, and Klaus wants to know yours. Oh, yeah.